Okay guys, we're back with another well, another episode of our ChatGPT AI clone uh, of the game called Pong. Uh, today we have to try and fix um, some of the issues that we ha that happened in the last episode, uh, which, I which was the first one. And that was, uh, we ran into a little bit, little bit of a problem, or at least the AI did, because we're using that to generate our code. But we tried to get it to move our two Pong, uh, two Pong paddles uh, using different um, inputs so on the keyboard when you play you're going to want to play against another person so we're going to try and make this a two-player game but at the moment our input system is not working so we're going to try and fix that and then depending on how long that takes uh, I also want to try something different and try and get the color of the ball to try and change just to try and test out the chat GPT function and see how far we can take it in this game so we're going to dive straight into it because I don't want this episode to be that long. And we're going to see where we left off. So let's go and play the game quick and see what's happening. So I believe that the ball does not interact with the paddles. That is correct. So first of all, we need to try and fix that. So let's go in on the ball and let's add a collider on here. Or we'll add a circle collider. We'll save that and then let's just play the game again and see if that works. Okay, so that does work. But now we on our paddles we don't want that to happen so we are going to actually we might be we might have to go and um, add some restriction or some bounce back effect to the ball but let's go and try and add some constraints to our rigid body on our paddles so on our paddles we don't want it to rotate so we're gonna freeze the rotation so let's just see if that works um, now that should it does work but you can see that it's taking the paddle with it which is not what we want we want the ball to bounce back in the opposite direction so let's go and have a look at the code so this is uh, not what I wanted where is our pad? where's our scripts here project let's go and open up these so open these up so we don't want the ball to continuously actually now I'm going to try and do on our paddles we only want our paddles to move up and down the y axis so I'm going to go and freeze the x position so let's let's play that and see what happens now that should stop our ball from moving yeah so that that stops it uh, which is fine uh, but now you can see the ball is trying to escape so that's fine that's what we want so now we need to try and get that ball to bounce back um, from one side to the other when it's what's this these are both okay let me just bring up our scripts to this window here okay so in our pong ball here let's see what we've got we've got an update this is adding velocity to the ball um, and then on collision okay so that's checking for our collision okay so when it when we collide with something that's called a wall make it negative direction okay have we even got the wall so top wall we have got the tag on it the bottom wall we got the uh, bottom wall uh, and that's pretty much it so now let's go back to our chat GPT here and try and get this to don't know why that's not working but we might have to try let me try and fix this quick so bear with me for a second so this I'm trying to load up the the script that well not the script but the the chat GPT page that we were using in the in the last episode so that we can carry on with the same one and refer back to our previous um, what's it called our previous scripts which which is here which I've managed to uh, um, open so let's have a look in here and see so we have our paddle here so let, let's see where we left off uh, rewrite the code so that player one uses the keys W okay so we're gonna stop with the um, we're going to give the pad the movement of the paddles using the input from the player a break for now and we will try and get the ball to bounce back and forth from one side to the other so 
Let's see, we have a pong ball script here, but I believe we asked it to rewrite that. Am I correct? No, we didn't. Okay, so what did we ask? This write a Unity C sharp script that moves the ball from one side to the other, like the game of pong. Okay. The script is attached to the game object. Okay. So I'm going to ask it. Copy that, and then in here. I'm going to try and ask it to rewrite the pong ball script so that the <coughs> um, ball bounces off of the pong I'm going to try and ask it to make the ball bounce off the paddle and change direction into the opposite direction so that um, it works for, but I'm trying to think, I don't think that's something we need to ask the ball to do because actually let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it's still generating. Um, for now, let's go into our script here and see. So we have a ball here. Uh, let's see where we have a rigid body. We have a collider on it. Do we have colliders on our paddles? Yes, we do So we want them to have a gravity gravity scale of zero and same with our ball because I believe that it's not because it has a gravity scale. It's just gonna fall right that makes sense Okay, so that is that still works. So we'll leave that like that. Okay, so this is still um, loading which is not exactly what we want we wanted to hurry up an error code if this an issue persists okay regenerate response okay let's try something else let's go and ask it to okay so it is doing something let's see what's coming up with so rigid body 2d uh, vector 2 yeah start get the rigid body then add direction to so starting off in the right direction okay Direction, time, speed, on when it collides. Okay, so clearly it's it's doing something. That's something different. So when the ball hits the paddle, it um, calls of this method here. Okay, collision. Let's see, float y ball hit paddle. So the script is attached to a game object that re represents the ball in the pong game. The script uses an on collision enter 2D method that to detect when the ball collides with the paddle. The ball hit paddle method is used to calculate the new direction of the ball after it hits the paddle. The direction of the ball is based on the rel rel relative position of the ball and, and the paddle. You can adjust the speed. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy that. Um, that sounds kind of like what we want. So we'll go into here. I believe that is for our Pong ball script. So we will select all of that. However, I'm going to leave the bottom bit just because we still need that. So I'll go like do that. We'll save that. Okay, so we still we have our on collision. So we can go and go ahead and uh, delete that, cut that out, and just paste that into here. And then that should be fine. So let's go and give this a try and see what happens. But first we need to add the tag of paddle onto both of our paddles. Okay, which we already have, so that's perfect. Let's go play the game and see what happens to our ball. Okay, so the ball, the ball did change direction, which is good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for our right paddle, I'm just going to move it up a bit, put it over there and then I'm going to freeze that one over there and put this one over here and then we're going to freeze the position of both of them on every axis so it doesn't rotate and it doesn't move just so we can test out the direction of the ball which is not working still not working okay that's interesting so clearly that is not working 
So let's have a look. If collision dot game object dot compare tag is equal to paddle, then ball hit paddle it um, passes through its position, um, the collisions position, so the the position of the ball and the paddle, uh, and then why does it need a paddle height? That's a bit confusing. That is a bit confusing. I don't know why it needs a height, which is very weird. Um, then the direction is equal to new direction. Um, the same X and the new Y. Okay. Strange. So, let's try and figure this out. What we need to do is... <coughs> who knows? What we want the ball to do is we want it to start from here and go f bounce there and then bounce onto that paddle and back and forth. And depending on the angle or where it hits the paddle, so say for example if the paddle is placed like this and the ball hits over here, we want it to now bounce off in this direction, if that makes sense. So to do that, we are going to edit the right paddle um, box collider on here quick. I remember doing this in one in our last one of our other games, and that one was the what was it called? It's the breakout game. If you haven't watched that, I'll put a link in the description for it. But we want to get rid of our box collider, I believe. Remove component. And then we need to add another collider that we can um, change the shape of it. So I think that is going to be, I can't remember which one it was, which one it was, circle, custom, collider, maybe that one, no, nope. not that one, maybe it's an edge collider, edit collider, uh, Okay, we'll try this. So we'll make that like that. Put that like this. Make that bigger. Shape that up. Actually, I'm pull it down. And then we want this to be kind of like that, maybe. So if it bounces off of these these edges, it's going to change it, the direction slightly. So we'll save that. Actually, we'll play it quickly, apparently. And then do that but the, clearly this is the problem this is this is not working here so what I'm gonna actually that's the wall let's just go in here and say debug debug dot log why can't I spell that's supposed to be an e that's why debug dot log change direction Save that and then try and play the game again and see what happens. <coughs> Otherwise, we might have to do this in tomorrow's episode. Okay, but did we move the ball? Yes, we did. That's not what we want. Let's put it over here so that we can see what happens. So it should actually, this is not going to work because it's just going to bounce there and then move straight off. But actually, no, that's not what we wanted. We wanted to check in the console to see if anything gets printed out. So left paddle, right paddle, okay, so let's go into our paddle class here and then we are going to comment this out just because we don't need that right now because clearly we need to get that working. And let's go play this again and see what happens. So it is hitting that and it is, um, it is calling that method, so that's working. So we need to try and figure out what's happening over there. Okay, we can get rid of that, and then, let's actually, I'm just going to ask chat GPT quickly and say, this script, let's see how smart it is, this script does not make the ball bounce back in the 
direction. It does not bounce back in the opposite direction. Instead, it just keeps moving in the same direction after after colliding with the paddle. So let's see what, I don't expect it to regenerate any code, but let's see what happens. And hopefully it gives us some kind of hint, maybe. Uh, while that's generating, let's go in here and figure something out. So on our ball, let's see, ridge body, 2D, use all, okay, we don't want any of those. We don't want to freeze it. We can actually freeze the rotation because we don't really want that to change. That's still generating. That's going to fail again. I have a feeling, just like this one. Um, let's see, collider. Still generating. Something went wrong, regenerate response. Okay, so something went wrong. So clearly it can't answer that. It's gonna fail again. You know what, let's go and say, um, write me a C sharp unity script. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Cool. Now I want to ask it a question. There was an error generating response. Write me a C sharp Unity script. Stop. Only one message at a time. Please allow the other response to complete before sending another message. Okay. So let me type in again. Computers. Um, stop. See what that does. I'm simply just trying to get it to stop trying to generate this response up here so that we can. Okay, I might have to open up a new. Let's just open up a new chat and see. Because <coughs> clearly this one's not working properly. Clearly, chat GPT is a little bit slow tonight, which is not the best because that just delays this uh, episode. Rewrite the Pong ball script. What? Okay, so it's got rid of the errors. So let's go and say, it's clearly not typing anything in there. So let's go and say, create a C sharp Unity 2D script for a um, Pong ball game for my ball so that it bounces off two paddles either side of the game and how do I phrase this? Create a C-sharp Unity 2D script for a Pong game where my, no that's so so that the ball, what? Pong game, so the ball bounces off two paddles either side of the game when hit. I don't know if that's gonna work, but let's try it. That doesn't really make sense, but let's see what it comes up with and hopefully we can get some, uh, what's it called, some, answers to our problem so I feel I have a feeling that that's not gonna work either so what we will do is we might have to um, start up a new page or new chat rather and start from scratch because clearly this I think it's a bit old because um, it's clearly not generating responses but 
So what we what we'll do in the next episode is we'll figure out this error, and then we'll also depending on how long it takes, we will also we will also go and make the paddles move up and down, um, and then maybe in because clearly that's not working. So we'll try this again in tomorrow's episode maybe, uh, and then after that we want to go and. Um, sort out the out of bounds areas and then also just make the game more interesting so we can add like different colors to the game whenever it bounces off the paddles or something um, um, we will be doing what well, rather we'll be asking obviously the chat GPT to generate all that code because we're not um, writing any code for this game because um, that's the whole point of the series so we will um, because the chat gpt thing um chat is not actually generating any code or anything any responses uh, it's just given me another another error that says an error code this is an issue if this issue persists, please contact us through which i'm not going to do so i'll end this episode over here and then we will continue tomorrow's episode where we left off hopefully it will not give us these errors uh, and we can get this game done but that's it for today um, and what else is there to say? Nothing really. We'll try and get this game done so that we can get finished with our Tetris clone as well as our slab stacker. But yeah, that's it for today. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Goodbye.